Okay, I just wanted to share this deck. Uh, it's not a deck which I've been doing in Arena. Uh, I really like it, actually. I'm not sure about this explosive sheet now, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I mean, it can. Sometimes you find that you get a good day even when there is like a bit of anti synergy in it with Soul of the Forest explosive sheet. I just like it. it's got this sort of. It just really works nicely, you know. Um, if you, especially if you can get the Soul of, I mean, I got the Soul of the Forest out in this first game, and it's just, it just, it just was incredible. Uh, that beast, I think the idea of combining this beast druid with, uh, you know, like a color like there, three five for three, uh, when you're going to attack like a lot of the time anyway. Um, that's just a, that is really good, really good card. This, um, and the and the card text isn't enough to make it bad. Um, but yeah, you can get some incredible buffs out of this, and then of course classic buffs like. Um, um, Power of the Wild and stuff. And even the Merlot Raider. I mean, I'd use the Merlot Raider for a, a five drop. Just put it with, add a few minions up there, suck it out with Soul of the Forest. Nice combo. Um, it's instantly, that's like getting a full three out. Like, you know. So, pretty cool that. This card is great as well. Um, I don't really play with Merlot decks, but this card, think about it. That's like, you know, I mean, that is essentially a three two, but with two minions. Um, and that you could, I mean, it's arguably, I mean, it's, it's similar, I suppose, to like huge totals or something like that. But uh, to have those two minions, often if, if I mean, assuming, on, I mean, it's pretty likely your opponent won't have a deal one damage uh, response to that. So that's pretty strong, pretty strong card. Um, possibly even stronger than those because a lot of those ones deal one damage. Often it's going to deal one damage to three or four health minions. So pretty, pretty amazing card that. And then Synergy, Mountain Giant again, I don't know if I should put that one in. Probably doesn't work so well, but in a way, it depends. I mean, it's one of those things, it depends how, you know, because like, there's like, um, it's very much the half of the deck is over four, so could be in a situation where Mountain Giant would be useful. It's this interesting thing where, depending on the nature of the game, there, there could be different ways to play it, which is which is always a sign of an interesting deck. I love this card, the Maya Keeper. Such a powerful card, five five for, th for four, uh, essentially. And a lot of a lot of the druid cards you have to you have to just supplement like that. I've always liked Dancing Swords as well. I don't think that the uh, the Death Rattle is enough for it not to. I mean, I mean four four. I would prefer that to um, the Ogre Brute, which uh, um, might you know might really impact the gameplay. Whereas. Getting one extra card, especially against a control deck, not gonna make much difference early game. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show this deck. Always like this card as well, Priestess of a Loon. Uh, simple card, five four, uh, and with that health restore, pretty cool for anything which is not a priest, I guess. Uh, and the Robo card is pretty cool as well. No other minion scarab, uh, a bit of card draw, Mad Bomber maybe to trigger that. And uh, yeah, and then we've got swipe, various other things. The finisher with the Raven Hulk. And a couple of the druids there. So yeah, uh, pretty cool deck anyway. Pleasure. Thanks for watching.